in this video, we will be configuring this Alan Bradley PUC as a Modbus RTU Slave RS485. This is an Alan Bradley Micrologics 1400 PUC. The catalog number is 1766-L32BXB. For RS485 wiring, we will need these two cables and two wires. The first cable, the second cable, and a few wires here. We only need two wires, black and white. The first cable is Alan Bradley 1763 NC01. It converts the PUC 18 millidin route port to a 6 pin screw terminal plug connector the second cable converts RS485 to USB Between the two cables, we will have two wires, black and white. Pin A on the first cable with the black wire is wire to pin 2 on the second one and pin B. On the first one, with the white wire, is wire to pin one of the second cable, and the other end of the second cable will be plugged into the computer. On the computer, first let's open device manager to find which port on the computer is connected to the slave PUC. Device manager. The PUC is currently connected to COM5 on the computer. Now let's open RS Logix 500. New. Micrologics 1400 Series B. Okay. Channel configuration. Channel 0. Modbus RTU Slave. This is the Modbus configuration for the PUC. Ball 19200 parity non stop bit 1, data bit 8. Not address or slave device ID 15.
for uh, S485 wiring, we will select no hand checking for 85 network for control light and for timeout and delay here. We will set 50 milliseconds for both. Apply. Okay. Now let's create a data file N9 for Modbus holding registers. Select data files. Right click. New. Integer. Okay, we can see the maximum range for a data file is 256 elements only. Okay, now let's go back to channel configuration. Channel 0 Under Modbus data table file numbers, we will leave the default 0 for coils contacts input registers. We will assign N9 only to holding registers because we are focusing on Modbus function code 3. Apply. OK. Now let's open N9 to see how Modbus holding registers are mapped. N90 is for holding register 40001. Okay. N nine one is for holding register four zero 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 two. Okay. N nine two is for holding register for zero 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 three okay and so on close now let's add something into the PC program These two rungs are to write Modbus holding register for 0001 and for 0002 to a Modbus master device. For his late PLC to write a float or real variable to a Modbus master device, we will need to use a CPW copy word instruction to split one float or real 32-bit variable F80 into two 16-bit words N92 and N93. CPW for 
copy word source f eight zero destination n nine two length two and for a slave PLC to read a float or real variable from a Modbus master device, we will also need to use a CPW copy word instruction to combine two 16-bit words N94 and N95 back into one float or real 32-bit variable F81. C D W source N nine four destination F eight one length two Now let's go to channel configuration again. Let's set up the IP address and subnet mask for the PLC on channel 1. 192.168.1.1 subnet mask 255.255.255.0 apply ok verify project let's download it to the PLC download let's save the PLC program save yes yes apply ok yes yes again Now let's use MOSCAN32 to test the Modbus communication from the slave PLC. Connection. Connect. COM5. This is the Modbus configuration on the slave PLC. Okay. Device ID or node address 15. Modbus function code 3 for holding register. We have N90 and N91 or MAC2 holding registers. 4001 and 4-0-0-0-3-4-0-0-0-4 0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-0-
it matches. It matches again. And finally, a real 32 bit variable which is combined from two holding registers 40005 and 40006 is mapped to F81 on the slave PC. Now let's change the value on Moscan32 to see how it is reflected on the slave PC. It matches. It matches again. That will be it for this video. Thank you for watching. If this video is helpful and you like the content of my channel, please like, share, and subscribe. A separate thanks at the lower right corner is also a great way to show your support to my channel. Thank you.